Have you noticed how some artworks evoke feelings of calm, while others put you on edge? A painting with a cool blue color palette can make you feel at ease, but a work with punchy reds and greens seems to brim with energy. In this video, we will explore this through two paintings, Juan Luna's España y Filipinas and Choi Weng Yang's Horizontals 1. Let's start by looking at color. In painting, color is a powerful tool that artists wield to direct our eye or influence our mood. Color is a formal element with three main characteristics, hue, value, and intensity. When we talk about colors like red or yellow, we refer to their hue. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a hue. The value of colors can be changed by adding black or white. Intensity, or what is often termed as saturation, refers to the brightness or dullness of colors. Let's take a deeper look at color in España y Filipinas by the Filipino painter Juan Luna. Two figures walk up a flight of steps towards a bright horizon. Although Luna has kept his composition sparse, the painting is visually arresting. The painting features a palette of primary colors. The figure on the left is swathed in a robe of deep red. Her companion's is a shade of light blue. The backdrop is filled with yellows of varying value. Look at the steps. Those closest to us are rendered in darker shades. The color gradually lightens as our eye moves upwards towards the incandescent sunbeams. On the color wheel, primary colors stand at equal distance from one another. Used together, they create contrast and throw each other into sharper focus. By building his composition using primary colors, Luna creates a striking painting. His choice of color is also astute in its symbolic significance. The painting's title suggests that it is an allegory of the colonial relationship between Spain and the Philippines. The figure in blue represents the Philippines, while her fairer-skinned companion symbolizes Spain. While the figure of Spain guides the Filipina figure up the stairs, Luna situates them on the same step in an intimate embrace. In this narrow canvas, the upright forms of the figures are set against the repeated horizontal lines of the steps. The stairs act as a metaphor for ascent and progress. They extend towards us, inviting us to follow the figure's upward path. Luna's use of color in this harmonious composition expresses his optimism about the relationship between the Philippines and Spain in the 19th century. Luna received his early art training in the Philippines before honing his style abroad in the academies of Madrid and Rome. In Europe, he received great attention in art salons and expositions and was supported by prominent patrons. When he returned to the Philippines, he became a diplomat in the revolutionary government while continuing to paint. During his lifetime, Luna was one of the most well-known artists in the Philippines. He continues to be a celebrated figure for his mastery of the academic style, as applied to the complex historical context of his time. In this abstract painting, Horizontals 1, by the Singaporean artist Choi Weng Yang, rectangular bars of color fill the canvas. While the painting does not appear to have a subject matter, it is in fact a systematic exploration of color. Choi's hues vary in intensity and value. For example, there are different shades of red, like burgundy, scarlet, and vermilion. Choi also plays with color schemes. Observe this area of the painting. Notice how the colors seem to pop when they are side by side. Orange and blue, situated on opposite sides of a color wheel, are examples of complementary colors. When used together, they create a bold contrast to our eye. 
In this section, blue and green appear harmonious when used together. This is because they are analogous colors, that is, colors that are adjacent on the color wheel. The way Choi allows colors to interact makes certain sections appear to stand out, while others recede. Some bars are stacked neatly, creating tall blocks. Other bars stretch horizontally, leading our gaze across the canvas. There is no single focal point in the painting as colors are juxtaposed against each other to varying effect. This dynamic relationship created by the different colors is what sustains our attention. Born in 1930 in Singapore, Choi Weng Yang is a painter, curator, and writer. Choi is a prominent member of the art scene in Singapore. Between 1975 to 1985, he worked at the National Museum Art Gallery, where he was head of exhibition and design before becoming a curator. He developed his practice during his training in art and design schools in London and the United States. Choi's enduring interest in color applied through an expressive blend of Impressionism and abstraction continues till today. España y Filipinas and Horizontals 1 are examples of how artists deftly utilize color. Colors can direct our gaze around a composition. They can influence our mood by building an atmosphere. They can be charged with symbolic meaning to convey a message. Colors and their optical effects can sometimes even be a rich subject in themselves. <laughs>